Hey there everyone, I'm Talha and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets as a database. Using Google Sheets as a database is a very good option as compared to other dedicated databases since Google Sheets offers a lightweight alternative and a very easy to use user interface. Although it is worth mentioning that Google Sheets is only useful for small to medium scale databases. For any other large scale databases, you may have to stick to the dedicated database softwares. So let's create a small database right here and explore the various functions that we can use in Google Sheets to make the process much simpler. So over here we have three people, their emails, their phones, and their addresses. We're going to use first the Google Sheets sort option to sort our data. We're going to select our data range, right click, and then head to view more cell actions. From here, we're going to click on sort range, and then data has headers, and then select sort by name. You can choose any of the options that you want and it is going to sort that for you. So now that we have sorted our data, let's create a query function and then we're going to create a search key. First, let's create a header for our query function. Let's make this a little more visually appealing. And now let's add the query function. Equals query. Select our data range. And then let's select our query as select a comma c close the bracket Add a1 and then close the bracket again. And here we have it. We've created a query function to display all of the names here along with their corresponding phone numbers. We can change the formula if we want to display, let's say, their emails. For that, we're going to enter B here and click enter and then will have the names and their corresponding emails. You can also expand the selected range and then display a name and the corresponding address as well. And as you can see, it has displayed the corresponding address for each of the names. Now let's add a search key that we can use to look for a specific item within our sheets. Let's use names to search for the corresponding phone numbers. For that we're going to create a header and name it search for phone. Next we're going to add a drop down below this in order to make it very easy for us to select the name. We're going to go to view more cell actions and then data validation, add rule and then select drop down from a range. Then we're going to select the range as this and click on OK. 
we click done and we have our drop down next let's use a formula that is going to display the corresponding phone numbers in this case we're going to use vlookup we're going to use our drop down as our search key c9 and our range is going to be this data range with the names and the phone numbers next index is going to be three since we want to select one two three phone numbers which are the third uh, column in this range and then let's add a zero here and close the bracket now let's select a name from the drop down and there we have it the corresponding phone number for this name we can change the name and the phone number will change along with the name i hope this video was useful to you please leave a like and subscribe